Good morning, church. Here we are, halfway through the week once again. Earlier this week, uh, thanks, Mike, um, I received this post that Pete Gregg put out. Very encouraging. I'm going to summarise it and read it to us just for our general encouragement. So we are still slap bang in the middle of crisis, but there are so many positives. For starters, the National Blessing Song, which we watched on Sunday, member church at the end of the service, has now been watched by 2.1 million people. A BBC journalist has asked Pete Gregg about its striking unity. It was harmonised by streams, so many different streams of churches, different denominations, Hillsongs, Kingdom Choir, Salvation Army, Coptic Orthodox, Free Church, Anglicans, all put together singing one song, harmonising one message to our nation. It's actually struck a deep nerve in our divided nation. Stories are coming back from people, church and non-church, Christians and non-Christians, who were moved unexpectedly to tears as they listened to the song. Also, a recent tear fund survey indicates that three million new people have turned to prayer since lockdown. Three million have turned to prayer since lockdown. The online British bookstore Eden reports a 55% increase in sales of Bibles in April. 24-7, an um, online prayer room has been going through the roof with people just joining. That it's, it's just exceeding all their expectations. The Tier Fund survey has also shown that the usual national church attendance of 5-7% to 7 of the nation this is just in Britain alone, has jumped to 24%. That's nearly one in four people within the British population have been looking at church services. As I've been thinking over these things, I woke up this morning with um, a song we've sung it in church, Sovereign Over Us by Michael W. Smith. And the lyrics are really striking me. So I'd suggest later today, have a listen to that song and let God speak to you through it let our trust always be in him see I'm also thinking after the lockdown all these hidden testimonies all these personal encounters with God will go live in the nation what do I mean by that well when people return to work they'll be talking to their friends about how they've encountered God for the first time there will be testimonies being shared could be now this is me I'm thinking positively I'm praying for revival have been for 30 odd years I'm waiting for God to touch the tinder of our dry nation and revival fires of salvations to flood through. That's in my heart. But anyway, Sovereign Over Us by Michael W. Smith. There is strength within the sorrow. There is beauty in our tears. And you meet us in our mourning with a love that casts out fear. You are working in our waiting. You are sanctifying us. When beyond our understanding... You're teaching us to trust. Your plans are still to prosper. You've not forgotten us. You're with us in the fire and the flood. You're faithful forever, perfect in love. You are sovereign over us. You are wisdom unimagined who could understand your ways, reigning high above the heavens, reaching down in endless grace. You're the lifter of the lonely, the lowly, sorry, Compassionate and kind, you surround and you uphold me, and your promises are my delight. Your plans are still to prosper. You've not forgotten us. You're with us in the fire and the flood. You are faithful forever, perfect in love. You're sovereign over us. Brothers and sisters, he's sovereign over our lives. He's sovereign over our nation. He is sovereign over the earth. Even the heavens are under his control and his plans are for us. He loves us. Amen. See you Sunday and be very blessed.